Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you would do me the great honor and you like Dollar Tree hauls or any other kind of shopping hauls, please do click that big red button and become a kitten today because we always love to have new kittens in the kitten fam. Today is my favorite type of video to make and I hope it is your favorite type of video to watch. It is time for, once again, a Dollar Tree haul. So if you want to see what I found at the Dollar Tree today, please stay tuned. Drinks, food, white cheddar, popcorn, um, I only got this because it was marked down. Um, so they had the whole big buggy of this for 50 cents. So that's why I got this actually. Um, the staple, if you have watched this channel, you have watched me haul this probably 20, 30 times now. But it is the guacamole style dip from the Dollar Tree. Um, it is from the home style selections and this is very good guacamole I I really like this um, I have hauled it like so many times and every time I haul it it gets sold out at my Dollar Tree and I can't find it anymore for about a month um, I also got the home style French onion dip for some reason, these cans look like they're a little bit bigger to me. I don't know they are, but they kind of look like they're a little bit bigger to me, to me than they used to be. Um, I finally found something that someone else hauled that I've been looking for forever in the food section, um, and that is the Planners cheese balls in the white cheddar. Um, I've been looking for these forever. Um, I think I saw this on uh, Kato Gypsy. Um, her hauling these. And I'm like, I want those so bad. And I could not find them. And then I finally found them. And these are in the 2.75 ounce. Um, and I do not know where the date on oh, here is. Okay, these are good to January of next year so got plenty of time to eat those um, me and my friend both love chewing on like licorice and stuff like that so I got these red vines for me I don't think he's ever had red vines because he's always eating Twix so I don't know if he's ever had red vines so I got these um, and then I hauled these. Well, I probably hadn't put that haul up. There will be a lot of post-dated hauls coming up soon, so they're coming out because they've been they were they've been filmed. They just hadn't come out yet, so there will be some post-dated hauls coming soon. Um, but I thought I'd get the the newer one out first. Um, but I found these, and I've actually done a taste test on these as well, so that'll be coming out too. Um, but these are just so good. They're toasted corn. And I can't say that right, so I'm not going to. But it has this season on them, and it's toasted like, it's kind of like corn nuts. These are so, so good. And I'm not a corn nut person, and these are still really, really good. Um, I couldn't stop myself the last time I bought them until I fell bad. Um, and there's like... 2.5, two and a half servings in each bag, and I ate all of them. So, this time I found the peanuts in that seasoning. So, I'm going to try the peanuts now. Because I like the hot and spicy stuff. Um, I have hauled this in the past, and I thought I'd get me another pack. You get the six pretzels in a pack and it's a 50 eat one of these packs of pretzels and that's just 50 calories and it gives you a snack 
when you're craving salty that's not the high in calories. So that's why I got these because it's not but 50 uh, calories per pack. If I stop myself at one pack, I still get my salty craving and not all that many calories. So that's why I got that. Um, I shouldn't have got these at all because any kind of tater chip is bad, but I do crave actual potato chips sometimes. And I thought this would be a better alternative than eating out of a bigger bag. Um, these are 80 uh, calories per bag, and it is the original Home Styles potato chip. So you get a small bag of potato chips. So you get your potato chip craving. Okay, it's like the little one you get at school. So you get your potato chip craving, but it's only 80 calories. Um, that's another thing that I'm starting to do is since I'm one person, I'm trying to buy things that are either measured out already or if I get something that's bigger like this I take it open it and measure it out to the actual serving size that way I'm not overeating I've got it in the serving size I eat what the serving size is then I stop so that's what I've been trying to start doing on my diet um, these next two things I've never seen at the Dollar Tree before if they had them before I never caught them um, I really used to like, when my husband was alive, to go to the um, Mexican restaurant and get the white cheese, the quas I can't say it, that kind of cheese. Um, but I you like to get the cheese and the chips and that'd be all we get, not like getting a whole meal, just get the cheese and the chip and that would be a meal to us. So when I saw this at the Dollar Tree, I'm like, I'm getting that. So they had the um, Blanco, which is the cheese that's not that hot. Um, the Vero. Um, so this has a little bit more color to it. See, it's white, but like it has a little bit more color to it. This is a mild heat. Um, so. If you get this version of it, it will have a little bit more spice to it than this version. But I'm going to try. And I do not even, I think it was coupon, coupon girl. I think it was coupon girl that first hauled this and I'm like, I've got to have that. Um, so... I finally found the Nestle, Nestle's Splash Waters that's got the fruit flavoring in them. Um, so, I got the Twizzlers <laughs> that were orange and they have um, filling in them. So. We're almost through all the food, guys. <laughs> We're about to get to the good stuff. I know a lot of you do not like the food at all. So, we are about through with the food. I think I've got, like, three or four more things that's food, and then we'll get into the good stuff. Um, but I got these yummy, yummy, gummy, candy, groovy bananas. Because they're bananas. <laughs> that's the only reason. But <laughs> I got these because they were nice. I do like um, gummy candy. Um, so I'm going to try these right now. Because my best friend said he got them. And he did not like them at all. So that's what they look like. Okay. They are very banana. But the texture of the gummy is not that good. Um, it's like one of those really rougher gummies. But I do like the taste. The taste is very banana. 
You have to really like bananas and like those. Um, I did come across these, and I hadn't ever seen this flavor of these before. Um, it is the Sun Best Pastry Crisp and Apple Cinnamon. I was buying these in chocolate a long time ago. And for some reason, my Dollar Tree does never get these in chocolate anymore. So when I saw the apple cinnamon, which is like one of my favorite Pop-Tarts, it's apple cinnamon. I said, well, I'll try that. And they didn't have many in this flavor, so they probably are good because I saw this one box and didn't see any more, so. So I got this one box in the apple cinnamon because that is my favorite um, Pop-Tart. So to get it for 100 calories for a breakfast, that's pretty good. Um, I did get the paste picante sauce in mild. This is a staple for me. I use this as dip. I use this as sauce. I put it in there, but they didn't have the Jif peanut butter by itself. They only had this. Um, I usually get the Jif peanut butter by itself and this because it's um, already serving, like it's actually the serving size. Um, and I usually use this on my um, rice cakes when I'm wanting something sweet and not a lot of calories. And the last food item in this haul is I actually got the actual seasoning like on the peanuts to put on other stuff because I'm I'm like fall in love with this seasoning so I will be sprinkling that on a little bit of everything okay now for what everybody has been waiting for the non food items well there is one more food item snuck in this box <laughs> I did get the theater butter popcorn um just because sometimes i just crave warm popcorn so i got that now that's absolutely the last of the food now for the none food items which there's not many of them um but like i said i'm trying to get a better collection of kitty ears and I saw these and I thought they were so adorable they got like little roses on them look at them are they not adorable is that not adorable so I got these kitty ears um, and like everybody else I did get a calendar um, they finally got the ones I kind of like I like they kind of are motivational calendars to kind of give you like a motivation for it that month um, these are in a different style than they've been being in, so I guess that's why I kind of looked past them. And, but then I looked at them, um, this calendar is the Every Moments count Calendar. Um, it says, um, uh, I have hauled this before, but it was the first time I hauled it. So I am hauling it a second time. And if I'm hauling it the second time, you know what that means? That means it works. <laughs> I got the monkey, monkey, it used to say monkey snot on it. Why does it say that? It's, it's hair gunk, hair gel now, but it used to say monkey snot on it. I don't know why I don't say monkey snot anymore, but it's like the monkey snot stuff. Um, it smells very much like medicine that's, uh, Banana flavored medicine is what it smells like, but it holds your hair like no tomorrow and it helps your hair style. Like when I put it on my hair, it kind of gets like this curly sheen to it and my hair is not curly. So I really do like this. So this is my new hair gel. Um, and then the last thing I got, I'm thinking this is the last thing. Let me make for sure. No, I got one more thing and then I do my biggest find. Okay, so 
I got this diamond brand Comet Cosmetics, and it is a name brand diamond diamond brand cosmetics. It's not green briar. This is a quick dry um, nail polish, and according to the instructions, that you put this wet quick dry nail polish on your current wet nail polish and it makes it dry quicker so I will be trying this this will probably be another one of those products that I try from the Dollar Tree I know I got a bunch of them I haven't tried them I haven't put the reviews out so Dollar Tree reviews are coming I've got like four or five products now that I've got to try. I just haven't found the review yet. So if you want to see Dollar Tree reviews, keep watching. Uh, so the biggest find, and I'm, we've been looking for these for a while because they had this last year. We never found none of them. Um, I'm still personally looking for a Georgia one. And my mom and dad would love to have one that's Auburn. But we did find the Alabama one. So these are the fan flags. It says wear them, wave them, hang them. 36 inches by 47 inches. Um, these are the... Um, Windcraft brand and they are 100% polyester um, so we found the Alabama flag I did open one to kind of show y'all what it looks like but I'm probably not going to be able to get it completely in frame and then on the bottom it does say crimson tide so it's but I am a Georgia fan. I live in Alabama, but I'm a Georgia fan, so I would really love to have one that's a Georgia one. Uh, so, um, my mom and dad are Auburn fans, so they would really love to have an Auburn one, but we do have a lot of family members and friends that are Alabama fans, so we got those to give. Uh, so, that's what it looks like. And we found this at the counter. Um, when we were checking out, the girl had them right there on her actual counter. So, if you cannot find them in, anywhere in the store, do check up there at the register at the counters. Um, because it was right there on the register when we was checking out. Um, so, if you can't find them anywhere else, look there. Um, because that's where we found ours watching and if you hadn't already please click that big red button to become a kitten today because we love to have new kittens and the kitten fam um, please give me a thumbs up if you didn't like it give me a thumbs down how am I gonna know if you like something if you don't give me some kind of input if you like the video please do comment down below and tell me what was your favorite find? What's the finds you are finding in your Dollar Tree? I love hearing those comments and being able to read them. Uh, please do go follow me on all my social medias that are linked down below. And I will see you all in the next video, hopefully. I love you all very much. Be careful out there. Please be kind to one another. And enjoy your day. Don't just endure it. I love you all very much. Bye-bye.